Tune in to NCN on Thursdays at 7 p.m. and the VOG on Fridays at 11 a.m. for the Ministry of Health's weekly program, Health Matters. This program seeks to educate you, the general public, on proper health-seeking behaviors while making you aware of the services available at the hospitals and various health facilities across the 10 administrative regions. You don't want to miss this. Tune in on Thursdays and Fridays. Be educated, be informed, because your health matters. Hello there and welcome to another edition of Health Matters, a presentation by the Ministry of Health. I've got with me our program today, uh, Ms. Dainty Conway, uh, the Director of uh, Health Policy attached to the Ministry of Health. I am Nazim Hussein and we've been having an interesting conversation on diet, nutrition, but more particularly sugar. Hello, welcome to our program. Hi, Hi Navin and Nazim. Uh -huh. Thanks for having me here today. We're really glad for opportunities to um, talk to the public. Right. So we've got on our table here, and I'm quite sure a lot of people in their homes, their offices have also uh, tucked away uh, sugary stuff. And we've got people that <laughs> say shake well juice, carbonated beverage, something that's supposed to energize you. And then, then we have another juice that has apple. And then we have this thing uh, <laughs> looking like an aquarium, but it's really a jar of water. Why do we have these here today? And then you have some sugar. Take us through. Okay. So Nazim, you know that Guyana has a high NCD rate, right? Mm -hmm. 60, about 68% of the persons who die in Guyana NCD, NCD, NCD for a non-communicable disease. Non disease. So diabetes, right. heart disease, cancers. Right. And healthy eating or unhealthy eating is just one of the contributing factors to these NCDs. Mm -hmm. So we have inactivity, we have tobacco use, and we have alcohol. Mm -hmm. And as you said, today we'll be talking about eating better. And especially at Christmas now, um, when we tend to eat a little more and a lot more of not so healthy things mm -hmm. cakes and ginger beer yes. and all Sorrel sorts of things drink yeah. mobby drink right. even though these things are local and they're nice right. they still have a lot of sugar and so right. so we can talk about that too right. um today but the so, presentation here we've good. got uh, some items that we see on our shelves and because those of us who are lazy to go and actually do the sorrel and so forth we pick up one of these good. things in the supermarket put it in the fridge and then we have fun good so and um, these just to, for the public to know we didn't pick a brand necessarily any specific brand. Mm -hmm. it's any of the drinks any of these items that are on the shelves have the similar content mm -hmm. so for the purpose of this um this presentation we just you know randomly picked things off the supermarket shops. So we have a kind of juice. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of times in Guyana, especially workplaces, they offer these kind of juices when you have meetings, right? So workshops. Workshop, meeting, 10 o'clock, you have your juice. But for this one kind of juice, this is the amount of sugar that we have in it. Um, 23 and, grams. And, and this is a, uh, how many grams here in this? But it's called fruit punch. This is a 10.7 fluid ounce. Exactly. Right. Good. So that, that alone has this amount of sugar. Mm -hmm. No, for, for, for the normal human, the mm -hmm. normal healthy human, mm -hmm. this is actually the requirement for the day. Added sugar to your food, right? So if you drank this today at your meeting, mm -hmm. And you had this amount of sugar in your body by drinking this, you shouldn't be using any other sugar product. No other sugar, nothing, not no sugar in your tea, no sugar in your coffee, no sugar in your food, no cookies, nothing. Because yeah, you've it, already you know, had it. You know, with the lunch, the dessert comes after exactly. ice cream and Ex cake and so on. And far. also another juice. <laughs> Another so you juice. have another juice at lunch, uh -huh. and then sometimes four o'clock in the afternoon, you might have something else to drink. That almost everything we consume have sugars and added sugars and added salt. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is hidden, and we can't recognize it. So we really, really, really need to be conscious of what we're consuming. I'm not saying that you can't drink the juice, but if you do drink it for the day, it means you can't have anything else because this is the amount of sugar in this one kind of juice. Right, and, and, and that's for your daily requirement, 23 grams. Exactly. Some people that's, say sometimes it pushes up to 24 grams. It's for for w women and men are, you know, a little different, but mm -hmm. this is what you're 
recommend it doesn't mean that you have to go to the limit because who says i should have this then you know i should have it mm -hmm. it really doesn't do anything good for you this does nothing good for you other than give you some sharp burst of energy and that's it it does nothing 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 good for your body because your body already gets all these sugars from natural foods mm -hmm. right your fruits and so so these other things really is just for your pleasure short time pleasure that you um you get from and then we get a famous carbonated beverage Good. And, and they come in all flavors all and flavors, colors colors mm -hmm. sizes right you know and very very attractive especially to the children when you, when you take the turn to the supermarket the display is very attractive consider this compared to these things on display mm -hmm. this is not attractive right this is, water, you know, water exactly. is, is, is kind of boring right <laughs> so yeah. the carbonated beverage has a little more sugar than the the juice mm -hmm. if you can if the, you can actually see. So this here, uh, it, it, it's, it's a what? A, a 20 ounce? 20 ounce. A 20 ounce. And, and it has 32 it's grams. Good. Is that, well, is 20 ounce a serving or because a serving may not necessarily be a, a 20 ounce? This is, this is the amount in the total right. good. And sometimes the serving says two per bottle. Right. But we don't share our drink in Guyana. We won't share this. Right. We would drink it, especially so, in so the hot country. So 22 ounces of this Two. black drink. Okay. And which could be any drink. It could be any any subject. It, 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 it's filled with thirty-two grams Good. of sugar. Good. Right. But, but uh, just a question for the, those who may not know: the sugar they use is it cane sugar? Because there's a lot of different <laughs> cane sugar and other sugars. Anything added to right. the product is it's considered sugar. as uh, additive, uh, right. right? Added sugar, whether, yeah. even if you add honey to the product, right. right? It's not the natural product that has these things. Right. If you add anything, more sugar. it's more sugar. Right. So honey is good, but if you if you add things like honey and agave and all those things that you read on, on the labels, mm -hmm. it considers added sugar for the day. Right, so this one here is what you might want to see in the gym. Good. And people who run and walk, they exactly. have one of these things and Good. so forth. So people who exercise mm -hmm. can kind of get away with it, but not. it's not recommended every day, right. you know? But because they work out and they are very fit, you know, they can get away with that. But not for the normal person who is very inactive and just, you know, they want some drink to give them some energy. See, so, so, that so, gives you energy, but short term. And so this uh, drink that sports people are encouraged to use um, and I think this is going to be another 20 ounce almost. Yes. Uh, this would have uh, 27 grams? Uh, yes. Uh, 27 so grams I think of this, sugar. No, sorry. Oh, this one is the 32 up. and this is the 27. Oh, right. So, the so black this drink, has the highest the, amount. This one has okay. the highest amount. Mm -hmm. Right. But as you said, it's uh, we're lucky uh, because we, people who exercise, they can burn out the sugar. Good. Uh, as case they we, can use it up quick, quicker. Right. Than, this one here... Uh, has uh, some some kind of apple thing inside, <laughs> uh, uh, you know. As they say, it's an apple cherry. Do you know the cherry? You think, oh, cherry is good uh, with lots of vitamin C and, and these things. And sometimes you do add loaded with vitamin C. This is a this is a 8.45 fluid ounce of one of the brands that say apple cherry juice. Um, so even though it, ha it when you read it, it do have vitamin C, it mm -hmm. might have other kind of vitamins they add in, which mm -hmm. is good, mm -hmm. right? You are getting some among, but the, the backlash is it also has too much sugar. So the benefit, the, 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 the disadvantage outweighs the benefit mm -hmm. because the foods that you eat or the foods that you give your children have these vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. right? Um, you don't need to give them something that's so packed with sugar to, to get the vitamins. And the issue is though, too, is that most of the times we drink everything for the day. So all of it adds up, right? right? It's not like we would use and this we, alone. And of course we Ex sweeten coffee and tea. Exactly. And, and, and the cereal also have its own sugar. And, and, and we're just talking about drinks. The next time you come, we'll have to talk about what we eat. Exactly. Case, what we'll do is, I mean, we'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll have more for you on health matters. Your health will always matter.
Welcome back to our program. So we've been talking about the sweet stuff, and we'll get back to the sweet stuff uh, in a short while. But we've got on our table uh, this jar of water. We have, it looks like a lot of water here. Uh, I guess we're going to make some swank. But <laughs> Ms. Dainty, tell us about this amount of water. What is the purpose of this particular amount of water here? Good. So this is the amount of water a person needs per day. Mm -hmm. It's six to eight glasses. Six, eight glasses, in fact, are in here. Right. Um, I don't know if I brought it in this jar for you to see, actually see, actually see, you know, the amount. Uh, I, I doubt whether a lot of Guyanese have this amount, take this amount every day, including me. I am too. You really have to be conscious of how much you drink. And, yeah. and you know, if you drink this every day, mm -hmm. a lot of these things you won't want, you know, because, because we live in a tropical country, we get hot. It's a fact. And the first thing that we run to because we are dehydrated, we're not stocking up on our water, mm -hmm. is to get something cold and, you know, tasty and things like that. So if we stock up on our water, what requirement per day? A lot of the times we won't be, you know, craving these these things when it's hot and you're already dehydrated. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing has hit the market, and, and before we go back with this group of um, beverages we have here, is the, especially in the water, this whole thing about um, water that is flavored. And that too has a lot of chemicals inside. Good. So... A lot of these, you remember these manufacturing companies, what are their main goal? To make money, yeah. really. And, and a lot of times the most attractive things are the ones that are not healthy. So we are attracted to it and that's good for them. That's why a lot of advertising and things like that to attract you. Now, if you want to flavor your water, all you got to do is buy the lime on the, on the market, buy whatever is it, orange, squeeze a little and have your flavor. You don't have to buy that additional thing that they're hyping up to make you, you know, that has so many, as you said, so many additives and so. If you want something a little flavorful, you put your lime, you put your orange, you cut it up, you put it in. Because uh, lemon water is good also for, for so, many, exactly. so many things as it relates to other issues. It's, okay. uh, they say it could help slightly to bring down uh, blood pressure um, and, and these things. Um, these, let's come back to water and its other benefits. Um, uh, the, 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 the day, how long, I mean, we should be using it for, within the eight hour day or, or can we yes, go? Yes, throughout the day, uh, you have a glass. When mm -hmm. you wake up, you have a glass, you know, you, you try to drink it, not when you're thirsty, before you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we, we try, you know, we drink it in the nights and then we're interrupted we to go up, back. Yeah. So mm -hmm. try to drink it throughout the day so mm -hmm. that you're, you know, hydrated in the day. And, you know, when the place is cold, when it's raining, or if you're in an AC office, you don't get as thirsty. Correct. You don't feel as thirsty, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean your body don't need it. And that's when that's what you have to be careful for, to still be drinking or what. So you wa you buy a nice big p bottle, take it to work and have it on your desk. The reminder to see it, rather than you have to get up and go and get it, you know, to see it there and drink drink it. It's ex Your body needs water like it needs oxygen you might be functioning but you don't know that you know when you have a headache you're feeling tired you're probably dehydrated but water is also one of the component of water is oxygen uh, so we can so the other part of these drinks as we come down and, and they, you know they they put, is, uh, they put amount of calories there <laughs> it's zero cholesterol <laughs> zero this zero that so it's got the, the amount of sugar it also have Sodium. Tell us a bit about sodium. So, uh, most of the product, products Nazim, in Guyana, when you go into the supermarket, you really can't get anything healthy, except if you go to the fresh produce. Mm -hmm. Everything has some salt or sugar. And even if you think this is sweet, you think it's a juice and it's sweet, and I just said how much sugar it has, it has salt. Mm -hmm. Every, um, and number two, the label is so fine on these products and a, a lot of the times you can, you know, for me, I have to put it like this to read the content. Mm -hmm. So it's a barrier for me to choose in the right, right kind of products. So this has, um, I can't even read it prop. Is it two? So two this, something? this fancy juice, juice will have <laughs> zero fat. Hey, if I feel nice, no saturated fat. I don't know why they would put that here. Uh, zero cholesterol and... 20 milligrams of sodium. Good. 
So the human body requires, what I recommend is less than one teaspoon, not even tablespoon, one teaspoon of salt per day added to your food. Mm -hmm. So throughout the day when you're cooking, one teaspoon or less, right? So when you have how much of an MG in here, how much in here, how much in the cookies that you, you think it's sweet, has salt, sodium, all of these things are put in there to make the the product's more right. flavorful. So you're saying uh, a, a teaspoon of sugar? One so, teaspoon of salt. Salt, sorry. So a two-piece combo of those favorite plates almost have a whole bottle of salt. Okay. I mean, it, it comes out very salty. And so um, so we're getting sugar and salt. And at Christmas time also, okay. we make a lot of these nice uh, eatables from pepper pot to garlic, uh, garlic pork, pork uh, to, you know, all sort of thing. And then in goes the salt. And then we have also... Um, uh, the, the, uh, the MSG, and then we'll still put uh, uh, some of these other flavored kind of things, cubes, you know, cubes and all sort of thing. And uh, we're having a salt party. Good, and that's why at the beginning I said that our NCD rates are so high. Mm -hmm. People have a lot of people are suffering from high blood pressure. A lot of people have diabetes in Guyana, and mm -hmm. the, the way we're eating is contributing significantly to that mm -hmm. because all these um, fast foods. Uh, Places that are around, easy, quick. You know, you're giving. Imagine people are giving their children these kind of foods as a as a uh, reward. When you, when you do well at school, what do they? What do parents do? Buy fast food as a reward. But uh, and it's really but really interestingly, handy. a lot of their lunch kit will also have these Good. tin or box exactly. um, juices. They call them. Matter of fact, they are not juices. Uh, they some have sure. adult concentrate um, made with whatever, but um, it, it's nothing pure. That's and not then pure. they would say, oh, it has pulp inside, just to bring across a message that it may have uh, some degree exactly. of, of pure juice but it, it, it's not um but we, we are looking also um in this covid environment when we want to also look at food and drinks at this time of the year to help boost our immune system and you did allude to um what we can throw in our water and what can we throw in our water and of, of course some of the food items that could help um, boost our immune system so um fruits and vegetables mm. obviously they're the go-to they're ranked extremely high that's what you're supposed to be eating to mm. get get your body healthy your body you need to keep your body healthy to fight up any kind of infections it doesn't mean that you will wouldn't get it or you wouldn't get covid because i think i'm healthy mm. but if you do get covid you will your recovery time is faster you wouldn't get as ill if you see the statistics that um, that is published every day, a lot of people with comorbidities who have had diabetes, high blood pressure, cancers, and so are, are the ones who are extremely sick or passing away. So if you keep your body healthy by eating the recommended foods, the fruits, vegetables, um, try not to fry your foods, your body, you know, can respond well to anything, any, any kind of sickness. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need supplements. I know when we first had, when the COVID was first here, people were bombarded in the ministry about vitamin C supplements and the need it. You're, you don't really need supplements until, un, unless you think you have a deficiency, which is what a doctor would tell you or a healthcare worker. You just want, you know, say I have a deficiency and I need vitamin C. The foods that we eat, like for instance, just a few cherries have enough vitamin C for you for the day. And vitamin C is not stored. So you can't say I've drank a thousand mg or a thousand gram of vitamin C tablet. I'm good for the week. You, your body passes it out at the end of the day. So tomorrow you still need more. Mm -hmm. So you eat some more cherries. You eat a half of a guava. These fruits are very, very potent in the vitamins and minerals that we need. We don't need a whole lot. We don't need ten and oranges. Are still on the market right now, tangerines, exactly. oranges, and so forth. And those are the kings with, 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 when it comes to vitamins. And you can C. share it with your family mm -hmm. and your neighbors, and so right. the amount that you get for the um, for the cost. Right. And I, I know um, the much more. No, I wouldn't say much more older, but some of the people with recipe they would dry the orange skin and put it in their cakes or, uh, uh, and other things. Good. Uh, also, and so of course you have more of, of vitamins there. Uh, so we, we're still looking at other foods at a Christmas time, but you're saying with the fry foods and these things are a must that we should. Be, uh, I can't see not having big chicken and so forth. <laughs> what are the alternatives? Okay. Uh, so for sure that I, like you can't tell me I can't have any garlic pork at Christmas, right. and it's our the way our culture and so. But 
you can you can look at the amounts, right? Like right. for instance, the chicken that we we recommended to eat is just like the palm of our hand, the size mm -hmm. of the palm of our hand. So if you have you cook garlic pork or you cook your pepper pot, I your neighbor invite you. Just leave your own and just have some of hers for the day. Mm -hmm. Don't eat yours. Then you know that you're going by your neighbor. And then you know at workplace, they say they're bringing pepper pot to share out to staff. Try to look at the portions. You can't avoid these foods at Christmas, but look at the portions. If you know you like black cake for the week, don't eat black cake every day. Choose one day, maybe the Saturday when you're doing your housework, when the men at home, you choose that day. You really, really have to be conscious of the things that you're eating. Um, it doesn't matter how much the ministry says or the government tells you or I tell you. You are responsible at the end of the day to make that choice um, of what you're doing. Right. So we'll take another break. Uh, when we come back, uh, we'll have more for you on Health Matters. Good, welcome back, and I hope we're all digesting all of these information at this time of the year. Of course, we're telling you not to um, overdo the do, as we would say here in Guyana, but still be moderate and have fun. You know, we talk about the drinks, as we would say here in Guyana, drinks having all the sugars, but some of the things we eat naturally also We'll have sugar once it's processed in our body. We, and we do indulge a lot of that during this time of the year, from rice to roti to bread. Uh, those who don't get cassava bread with a pepper pot will feast on regular bread. Mm -hmm. Good. So we're, we got to look at the portion sizes. Mm -hmm. And there's a difference between portion and serving size. Sometimes you go out, your family goes out. And they have serving sizes, but it's not necessarily the portion that you're supposed to eat. Mm -hmm. So we have to be wary of that. Um, for instance, for breakfast, the, and this is for people, not for people who want to lose weight or gain weight or have a condition. This is for people who are supposed to be generally healthy. Mm -hmm. You can have two slices of bread um, with peanut butter, uh, egg, something um, with your coffee or tea, but... The other thing, too, in terms of um, anemia, this is another health issue. When we drink our coffee with our breakfast, it inhibits the iron consumption, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful of how we're drinking our tea with a milk product and the caffeine right. with our foods. If you're drinking your Coca-Cola, so not only to do with the sugar, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, whatever. It's to do with it inhibits your lunch. Like you're eating your beans or your mm -hmm. chicken, you won't get the iron content from the foods it inhibits it so you just watch what you're eating there um snack time 10 o'clock you know stop with the egg ball and the fish cake and the puri just if you if you think you're feeling hungry you can have some crackers with a cup of milk or some kind of your your flavored water right um lunch two cups of rice and you try to average it don't eat don't eat till you're full and you can't move. And now I say I'm full. You know, eat what you're supposed to eat. And a lot, I, I know a lot of people will not know the exact amounts that they're supposed to eat. So they can call us at Ministry um, of Health Food Policy. And we can guide you. Um, guide you based on your body size and things, your energy level and so your activity level and so. Um, so call us if you need help with portions because that is really really key sometimes you bring your nice kalaloo and dal to work but your neighbor brings your fried fish and you're smelling it so you want to eat your own and you want to eat hers too mm -hmm. so even though you had your portion nice you know at work you get influenced you know by your colleague and so so you really got to watch your portion because it adds up at the end of the day and then it's one day and it's a month and then it's a year and your body is reacting to that. And even though it's boring, um, we, we should, at Christmas time, have our meals be complemented with the usual uh, fresh salad and even steamed greens. Uh, and, and that we could eat as much as possible. Exactly. And half your plate really should be vegetables. Right. Half of the plate should be vegetables. Whatever it is that mm -hmm. you're belange, the most of the food on your plate is supposed to be the vegetables. And they really have no particular calorie show. Nothing, nothing really. They're really good for you. It's a pleasure having you on our program as we're part of uh, 
the Christmas season here in Guyana. Uh, please do, even when you're making your fruity drinks, watch the amount of sugar um, you put inside. Sugar can be a danger. Uh, you can, um, as they say, is there a particular number at your office that people could call um, to get information as for portion size and what's in your plate? 239703 to yeah. four Ministry of Health Food Policy. Right. Good. Thanks a lot for being on our program. Thanks for having me. And thanks a lot uh, for being another on another episode of Health Matters. I'm Nazim Hussein. Do join us again next time. Until that time, uh, be safe. <laughs>